With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start the given question. First of all, let's see this information, the table given over here is given to us. And on the basis of this given information, we need to answer a question. So first, let's discuss these given information. Two elements are given, x and y. The configuration of x is 287. Therefore, the x is having z is equal to 17, which we know is for chlorine. And the y is having electronic configuration 282, which we know that y is going to have z is equal to 12, which is for magnesium. Also from here, one more thing we can conclude that chlorine is a non-metal and magnesium is a metal. Therefore, in the given table, we are mentioning the properties of non-metal and metals. Now, let's see. The nature of oxide, non-metal, dissolves in water and turns blue litmus red. For metal, very low solubility in water dissolves in hydrochloric acid. Oxidizing and reducing reaction, non-metal tends to oxidize elements. It acts as oxidizing agent, whereas metals acts as reducing agent. Non-metals are very poor electrical and thermal conductor, whereas metals are good conductor of electricity as well as heat. Tendency to form, form alloys and amalgam. Non-metals do not form any alloys whereas metals forms alloys. Now let's come to the given question. It says, using the information above, complete the following. Metals tends to dash electrons and acts as dash agent in their reaction with the elements and compounds. So generally, the metals tends to donate the electron as in this case also we can see in case of magnesium it tends to donate two electrons to form magnesium two positive ion why so because it has the electronic configuration 2a2 if it will donate two electrons it will get the configuration 2a which is a stable noble gas configuration Therefore, we can say metals tends to donate electrons and they act as reducing agent. As you can say, as metals tends to donate electrons, so obviously they are undergoing oxidation. Over here, we can see that magnesium is undergoing oxidation. The one which undergo oxidation itself will act as a reducing agent. Therefore, we can complete the given sentence as metals tends to donate electrons and act as reducing agent. In their reaction with elements and compounds. Thank you so much. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEAT level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.